They had been waiting for the rains, dreading them for months. Monsoon season has finally come to the refugee camps outside Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh. For the Rohingya people who fled what the UN calls ethnic cleansing in Myanmar, this is fresh peril. And time is running out to make things safe. Landslides are the immediate danger. At least 12 people have died so far. Among the first was Ajida Begum. She was six years old and this was her home. This is the only picture her father, Ruha Alamin, has of her. The identity card issued to every refugee when they arrive. Last month, Ajida left home with friends to go and collect firewood. She was crushed to death when the earth above her gave way. It's the first time the family has talked about her death to foreign journalists. There are nearly one million people in the camps here. It's the biggest in the world, more like a city than temporary shelter. And nearly 200,000 people are at risk of landslide and flood. Refugees themselves, directed by international aid agencies, are working non-stop to put up defences against the torrential downpour. The fact that they live in very flimsy um, shelter to begin with, you know, that's at very much at the forefront of, of our attentions. And the fact that it is a race against time and that we need to move people to safe locations as fast as we can and make sure that they have the food and the resources and the relief that they need to survive. Those relocation efforts are underway. In this operation, 158 people were being moved, from hills to lands that have been bulldozed flat over the last few months. We followed one family on the five-kilometer march. Back home in Myanmar, Mohammed Isop was a farmer. Mohammed told us that when he came here with his wife, his three daughters and his grandson, he built their shelter himself. It was destroyed by heavy rains. But he didn't know what to expect at the new site. This is Mohammed's new home. Bigger and better prefabricated shelters are ready here, each allocated to a family. He told us that, away from the hills, he now feels safe. The rain comes so suddenly, though, and with such power, it's hard to predict where and who is at risk. The rain is coming down really, really hard. Now, this happens several times a day. And when the Rohingya fled Myanmar, their villages were burnt. They escaped those flames. But it's this water that now brings a lethal threat. The refugees we spoke to want to go home, but they know it's still far from safe in Myanmar. They're here for the long haul. First, though, they have to make it through the rain. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, in the Kutu Palong refugee camp, Bangladesh.